and have thrown it out. Oh, of course, make sure when you do this, you use Torx bits. Use Roberts bits, which are just square ones. Those. You use Phillips bits. And then also you use um, three eighths bolt heads. Self tapping. Of course, most of those riders. Yeah, use as many different ones as you can. Put them all over. Two layers of board. Quarter inch red oak plywood. That's the corner's damaged. $12.99. So, we're going to finish working on the trailer. Over the trailer, we're pretty much done with it. What we've done for our free trailer is that threw up by the alley. Um, we got some lights from the scrapyard. Used the brackets that came with the lights. It might be the same ones that were at the trailer. Power washed, sanded down, ground most of the trailer, painted it. Accidentally had latex acrylic, rust oil paint. It worked. Of course, I primed it. Um, we did the wiring. Tongue was bent, so we got welded at the top and underneath. We had to do a little more welding. Angle iron. And then we use inch and a half by two and a half. Squared rectangular tubing we found at the scrapyard. We couldn't get this on by itself, so we doubled it up. It made a perfect fit. I've never seen one of these fit perfect, or they always got gaps in them. This obviously wouldn't fit. So if we stack two of these together, the bolt would still go through there. It's there, so we just welded it on a piece of tongue we found at the scrapyard. Welded that on for our safety chains. This is in the bracket out at the local hardware store where they get the latches for the garden gates and the L brackets for the shelving and all that. All the dead on. It's fun to weld upside down. So this will keep it from hitting the ground all the way. So you can pick it back up and you can put your hand under here. And it's kind of hard to see what that part number is but it was encoded. There it is. We painted everything. The only thing I didn't do is the trailer lights. I probably should get two more. I had ones. I lost them many projects. We tried to use these clamps, these little hook clamps for the wiring that came with it, and otherwise we just used the plastic nylon ones in there. Uh, painted everything. We had all the front, front wheel assembly off on that side. This side we had most of it off and painted the brackets. And we did uh, greased, take the bearings out, greased them. And they have grease in the back of the hub. All it does is just fill the inside of the hub full of grease. It doesn't grease the bearings. So this is 3 inch by 3 sixteenths. We weld it all the way across. So it should be nice and strong. Of course that's welded. This trailer could still technically tilt because there's a bolt here and a bolt there. And this was a tilting trailer. See across here, it would actually tilt and fold. They can still do that. If you unbolt one of the bolts over there and there out, it could be on its wheels. And then we added some, we welded it here too to make it more solid. We're going to put our three quarter inch red oak on there. Got some nice bolts for that. And we put the bolts on. We're going to put tie downs. We had some more tie downs. These came out of Suburban Tahoe from 2000s. Chevy Venture Vans use the same ones too, nice and thick. So those are on there. So she's pretty much ready to go. Slightly stronger than it started off as. So I'll show you the rest in a few. Thank you. Here she is. She's done. 99% done. Red oak is installed with a nice fancy paint. That was on clearance. These hooks will be installed. The voltage is too short for the moment. You just need new tires. Another tip if one lady working right, but you got power to it, check your ground. You need a real good ground to pull power. 
<laughs> Never use bed frame, it's impossible to drill through. Corners are reinforced. The bed frame will keep the angle iron will keep the board from getting all screwed up. The hooks here, you've got tons and tons of hooks to tie down. You never have enough tie down hooks on there. The tongue is only over four feet long, so it gives you a little more towing room, backup room, and you can hide stuff over the tongue if you need to. Where it's painted both sides. So, this is it. 99% done. Before they go to their new home. There's else more to show you guys. But here it is. Thank you. Look at that. Clean underside, too. Thank you for watching.